Welcome to Greenhorn Linux, Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam introduces himself and explains what his YouTube channel and website are all about. Welcome to Greenhorn Linux, YouTube videos and a website dedicated to people transitioning from Windows to Linux. I myself am transitioning from Windows to Linux, and I thought I'd create this YouTube channel and website for a few reasons. The first reason is that I wanted to give back to the community. Transitioning from Windows to Linux has been a little bit of a challenge here and there, and there are a lot of great articles out there. It's my goal that some of my videos will be useful to the community. The second reason is just a tad bit more selfish than the first reason. How many times has this happened to you? So you get done setting up your operating system, and you get all the settings set up just the way you want. Then four or five years later, you have to reinstall your operating system. Yes, I'm talking to you, Windows. And after you get the install done, you can't remember the settings that you used in the past. That has happened to me many times. So this video uh, channel and website is hopefully going to allow me to go back, watch my videos again, and see exactly how I've set certain things up. And lastly, I do feel that there are a tremendous amount of YouTube videos on Linux already out there, but I feel that a lot of them are more geared towards the actual Linux distribution reviews and not necessarily some of the more basic concepts. Uh, and coming from Windows to uh, moving to Linux, some of these concepts, some of the very, very basic concepts at least, felt very, very foreign to me. And so it's my goal to bring these basic concepts to you uh, because sometimes I feel advanced Linux users may take these basic concepts for granted. So if you are an advanced Linux user, don't worry. Uh, eventually I hope to get to that level, but in the beginning of uh, these YouTube videos, are going to focus more around the very, very basic concepts, and then we're going to work up from there. I will attempt to give the best information I can at the time of recording. Keep in mind, I am not a Linux specialist, I am not a computer expert, I am not a security expert, and I am certainly not a developer. I am just a guy who's enthusiastic about Linux, and I'm attempting to learn as much about the Linux operating system as I can. So what does this mean for you? Just take my information with a grain of salt. I'm sure I will mess something up on a particular topic. Uh, I may not present the information in the most efficient manner. And if that is the case and you see a mistake, please add a comment to the YouTube video itself. That way I myself and other people watching the videos uh, can learn from my mistakes. If you happen to still be watching this video, you may be wondering what topics I plan on covering. Well they'll pretty much fall into two categories, either the discussion, which I will admit uh, may be slightly boring, and then the screencast, which will actually show you how to do the topics that I am presenting, more uh, of a visual aid than anything. Now, the reason I plan on doing some discussions is these uh, discussions will be necessary to go over some of the concepts uh, that may feel a little bit foreign to you. And I plan on covering a lot of topics that I had a hard time grasping uh, when I first started using Linux. At this point, I plan on releasing content whenever I can. I don't really have a set schedule, and this is because of the demands of the real world, such as work and all my other hobbies. Uh, I'm not sure how quickly I can release content, but I have every intention of releasing content as quickly as I can produce it. I already have something like 40 video ideas lined up, uh, and I'm sure this number will can only increase as I learn more and more about Linux. Which reminds me. So I'm about to state the obvious. Keep in mind a lot of these videos will unfortunately become outdated. Now I'm hoping that a lot of the core concepts will remain the same, but potentially the how-to's and everything will become mm, slightly outdated. So just keep this in mind as you're watching my videos. Uh, I will attempt to shout out the version number so that way you have an idea of how outdated my videos are whenever we're doing something with a particular program. But um, hopefully the core concepts will still remain viable for a long time. Be sure to check out my website, greenhornlinux.com. Now the advantage over the website is that hopefully everything will be kind of categorized in a much better fashion than what I can do on YouTube. 
if you're used to the search function on YouTube, I'm sure my YouTube channel will be just fine for finding content. Uh, I hope to organize both uh, the best that I can, but uh, I have a suspicion that I'll be able to better organize my content uh, at greenhornlinux.com. In the future, I hope that you are able to find my YouTube videos and website helpful, and thanks for watching.